North Korea has likely deployed its troops alongside Russian forces in Ukraine. North Koreans may be assisting with the launch of KN-23 missiles, The Guardian reports. According to the media outlet, North Korean military engineers are likely assisting Russia in launching ballistic missile strikes against Ukraine. Additionally, some North Koreans operating in the occupied territories of Ukraine have already been killed. One of The Guardian's sources stated that dozens of North Koreans are positioned behind Russian lines in teams that support launcher systems for KN-23 missiles. The first reports of North Korean presence in Ukraine surfaced last week. At that time, South Korea indicated that North Korea might send its military to Ukraine in support of Russia. Shortly before that, media reports mentioned that more than 20 soldiers, including six North Korean officers, were killed near Donetsk in a missile strike on October the 3rd. As noted by The Guardian, foreigners have previously fought in Ukraine as mercenaries on Russia's side. However, if North Koreans were present on Ukrainian territory, it would mark the first instance of a foreign government sending troops in military uniform to support Moscow's war. Joining the war on Ukraine gives North Korea a chance to test weapons, gain combat experience for its troops and bolster its standing with a powerful international ally. The Guardian reports. Earlier this summer, leaders Vladimir Putin and Kim Jong-un signed a comprehensive strategic partnership agreement which included mutual assistance in the event of aggression against either country. At that time, Putin also tried to persuade Kim Jong-un to open diplomatic missions in the occupied cities of Donetsk and Luhansk. The Pentagon expressed concern, stating that North Korean soldiers in Ukraine could become cannon fodder. Recently, some Ukrainian media sources reported that more than 20 occupiers were indeed eliminated in the missile strike near Donetsk on October the 3rd. Among them were North Korean military personnel. Earlier, we wrote about how many troops North Korea might send to Ukraine to aid the Russians. Recall, the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine confirmed a successful attack on the 67th arsenal of the Russian Ministry of Defense's main missile and artillery directorate located in Bryansk region. This site stored munitions from North Korea. Chief of Ukraine's General Staff Anatoly Bagilevich and Ukrainian Deputy Prime Minister Olga Stefanishina seem more interested in begging the White House to allow Kiev to strike deep into Russia than discuss any kind of peace plan in the United States. Russian Nezovizimaya Gazeta media outlet reported this. It is noted that French Minister of the Armed Forces Sebastien Le Cornu has already announced that his country will send its Mirage 2000 multi-role fighter jets equipped with air-to-surface missiles to Kiev. Retired Russian Lieutenant General Yuri Netkachev recalls that Ukrainian pilots are currently being trained and will complete their training in France by the end of 2024, and the fighters delivered to Ukraine will be equipped with new air-to-ground weapons. It is still unknown how many Mirages Paris will deliver to Kyiv and what specific weapons these multi-role fighters will have. According to Open Data, France has produced over 600 of these aircraft. This summer, French President Emmanuel Macron announced that his country would deliver upgraded fourth-generation Mirage 2000 to five fighters to Ukraine. This is a modernized export version. About 50 Mirage 2000-5 units were delivered to China. The French Air Force has about 100 Mirages, including about 30 Mirage 2000-5F aircraft. 
It is from this series that the fighters for Ukraine will most likely be delivered. These aircraft can be equipped with MICA-EM guided missiles with an active radar homing head capable of destroying air targets at a distance of up to 50 kilometers on the fire and forget principle. Since Le Cornu reported that the fighters for the Ukrainian armed forces will be equipped with air-to-ground weapons, the Mirages may use AM-39 missiles, which have a range of up to 70 kilometers. It is also possible to use the French low observable cruise missile Scalp-EG, modifications of which are capable of hitting targets at a distance of up to 560 kilometers. That is, they can hypothetically reach the capital region of the Russian Federation. The Ukrainian armed forces already use Storm Shadow Dash Scalp EG on Ukrainian Su-24 fighters. One of Kiev's goals is to draw NATO into a confrontation with the Russian Federation, Netkachev believes. This goal will be achieved if the alliance countries officially allow Kiev to fire its missiles deep into Russian territory. The consequences could be dire. After all, Russia has the means and the methods to effectively respond to such aggression.